Praise be our one infinite creator. We thank you, one infinite creator, for your love. We thank you, one infinite creator, for your light. All is one. Blessings and greetings. I'm Robert, humble messenger of the law of one. Now, not a lot of people will listen or watch these videos. That's okay. For the few who are seeking knowledge and wisdom of the unity of our one creator, you've come to the right place. I am Quo, and I greet you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. May we thank and bless each of you for inviting us to share in your combined live streams at this time. To be so invited to share our thoughts is a very great privilege, for it is by attempting to be of service to you that we gain in polarity and advance along our own path. We ask that you remember, as always, when hearing any opinion, whatever, that the truth is already seated in your own spirit, and if you do not recognize it in our words, it is well for you to release it from your consciousness, for we would not be a stumbling block before you to retard you in your spiritual growth. Indeed, that is far from our purpose. Each knows that the phrase, all men are created equal. Men, of course, meaning humankind, men and women alike, to be not only an ideal, but truth. For all have the same birthright, own the same Godhead in potentiation, and possesses all that there is within themselves. We would in no way argue with this truism and indeed wish to underscore its accuracy in the sense that each of you is the creator. And thus, do you each function as each other's catalyst, for each of you is a mirror in likeness, not similar but the same so that your other selves may gaze within your glass and see what they need to see about themselves. Indeed, it is often among your peoples that you see things in other people, not realizing that you are seeing the reflection of yourself. However, this evening we would stress that in the illusion, which is your so-called third density reality, all men are manifestly created unequal. In the illusion of personality, each entity is unique. This illusion is a deep illusion which will continue to hold sway through several densities of existence and many millions of your years and far, far into your spiritual development and your journey back to the one original thought. It is an important illusion. Why, indeed, does it seem so clear that in this illusion of personality, each is unique and obviously different and therefore unequal to and from each other? Let us consider one individual spirit. There are two basic influences which shall govern what occurs within the life experience of this individual. The first is, shall we say, the law of finished beginnings. This is not a law, but an influence. We use the term law advisedly and ask that you understand that it is a pervasive influence rather than an unshakable law. This pervasive influence is that which indicates that that which has been previously unfinished 
in an entity's experience in other lifetimes shall be once again brought before the attention of the entity in order that the entity may work. Consider, meditate, and do whatever seems to be advisable with these pervasive influences which are familiar. Many difficult relationships are the result of previous unfinished beginnings, and the difficulty of the relationship is much like the difficulty of a person that receives that which seems to be fresh from the grocery, but which, when taken home, though sweet and fresh to every physical sense, yet seems still somewhat aging and putrefying. There is something ancient, something one cannot put one's finger upon, something which smacks sometimes of deja vu. This is that with which you shall deal as lovingly, compassionately, and may we say dispassionately, with in this life experience in order to finish that which has been begun, that all may be balanced with that particular relationship or in regard to that particular point that the entity has been attempting to learn and has as yet not completely gotten, shall we say, under the belt. <laughs>